Katie Kesmerick, and I'm the coordinator for the Early Childhood and Extended Day programs with Plymouth Canton Schools, as well as the preschool programs here at Allen Early Learning Academy. And I'm Jocelyn Clark. I'm a special education supervisor here in the district, and I'm also part of Allen Early Learning Academy. We serve students from ages zero through five. Uh, we have infant toddler programs as well as preschool programs for special ed and gen ed students. Uh, we have half day programs, we have full day programs, um, so we have a, a range of, of services for our families within the Plymouth Canton area. One of the things that's unique about the Allen Early Learning Academy is that we've been able to combine the special education programs and the general education programs so all of our youngest learners are together learning. We've brought families together. Um, and it's been a really wonderful opportunity for our community and our families and our staff to, to come together to, to move everybody ahead. Academy and welcome to my room. This is Thank you. Tell me a little bit about your class. I have two classrooms, a morning and an afternoon of four-year-olds, and we have been studying various things in here. So can you tell us a little bit about what's above us? All right, right above my head is from our family and beginning of the year study where we welcome the children to school and get them acclimated to the routines. And one of their projects up above here is bringing in a collage of family members. Everybody gets a chance to bring in special pictures so that when they come here, they can see familiar family members. Okay, so tell me a little bit about these apples. Sure. This morning my class did an apple tasting and we have some data of which apples they like the best. And as you can see, most of my class this morning picked green. And it was kind of surprising when you figure most of them have had exposure to red. But we had green and yellow this morning and they had an opportunity to try all three. So tell me a little bit about how you guys work and what's your program. Um, the program serves, well, infant through five-year-olds, and we are staff for the three, four, and five-year-olds. It's all developmentally appropriate um, pieces of equipment for our students, so obviously you can see they're very small and not for the bigger kids. Yeah, the Rotary um, has been adapted our program several years ago, and they provided funding, and we designed this, and they bought it <laughs> and they donated it. Plans for the future is we hope to have a playground that, um, a therapeutic playground that will involve the whole area for infant through preschool and uh, at Allen School. And we have something that was designed um, by a architect. That, that would provide for multiple levels, um, lots of different ways for students with special needs to play and, and be appropriate in their play. And the staff in the community developed the program when we were at Tanger, and we hope to have that dream come true here at Allen.
some apples and pumpkins with you. We sure do. We are going to be going to Plymouth Orchards next week. And I wanted the kids to have a chance to take a look at the real McCoys here. So we had a chance to cut open an apple, cut open a pumpkin, and find out what starts an apple and a pumpkin. And we learned about seeds, how you have to plant the seeds. And then for apples, they grow into trees. For pumpkins, they grow into vines. And when they're ready, about this time of year, you can go to an orchard and pick one or both. So I want to make sure that they know what to look for and that they know what they're looking for. openings left for this year at Allen Early Learning Academy. If you're interested in finding out more information and the openings, please contact us at 734-416-6190 and look for more information regarding our offerings for next fall and that will be coming out the end of February, beginning of March.